Awesome. So we'll start in a seated meditation. Oh, quickly there. You have your blocks nearby. You can sit on a block if you want or a blanket. And today we're going to do a mudra with our hands. So I'll just come in close so you can see it. It's called prana mudra. So your ring fingers and your pinkies are going to touch your thumb. Yeah. And then try to keep your index and middle fingers together, but you can keep them kind of soft. Yeah. So as soft as it can, it kind of feels different if you've never done it before. And I'll just come to a comfortable seat, resting the hands onto the thighs or the knees. Just begin to notice your spine, making sure the shoulders are stacked right over the ribs and the pelvis, neck is over the shoulders. Taking a deep breath in and push the air out the mouth, let it go. Maybe taking another one like that, breathing in deeply, filling up the whole body with air. This time, maybe sighing it out, letting it go. Feel the shoulders drop back down. So this mudra, prana mudra, is supposed to invigorate us and kind of move energy upward from the pelvic floor, up the spine, through the crown of the head. So it's really great for postpartum, just meditation, just envisioning this energy moving back up into ourselves. So we'll drop into the breath here. Just begin to notice your in-breath and your out-breath. Just following each in-breath completely the top and following each out breath as it comes out of the nose or the mouth. Notice the body rise on your inhale and fall on your exhale. You can see your eyelids heavy or closed. Just simply watching the breath. Next time you breathe in, perhaps envisioning this movement, this energy moving up from the pelvis, up to the crown of the head, and then breathe out, letting go of the image. We'll take another one like that. Breathe in from the pelvis up the spine to the crown of your head and breathe out, let the image go. Just one more like that. Full breath in, breathe in from the pelvic bowl, up through your spine to the crown of your head. Breathe out, let the image go. Begin to let go of the mudra, allow the hands to soften and open like a flower. And then we'll slowly make our way onto our back. So you can take your time. You can hold your gaze gently inward if you need to. We'll just take our time here since we're moving our meditation. You can go slow. And come all the way onto your back. And then here, just plant the feet on the ground for a moment. So your knees are pointing up towards the sky. Just take a full breath in, fill the belly up towards the sky, all the way to the chest. And exhale to empty the air all the way out. And bring the feet as wide as your mat. We're just going to knock the knees down towards the right. And then towards the left, just kind of like a windshield wiping here. Just moving slowly, noticing the outsides of your hip and the inside of the thighs. 
as you oscillate from right to left. Just take about three more here. Just moving at your own pace, remembering to breathe deeply. And then come through center, plant the feet onto the mat, knees up towards the sky, and then bring the knees towards your chest. You can grab the knees gently with your hands and maybe press one knee forward, keep one knee in towards the chest and then switch, other knee in towards the chest, other knee forward. Yeah, just kind of pressing forward and back. This is really nice for the sacrum, just getting these opposite sides here of the pelvis. And then you can come through stillness, an option to take your, ha your happy baby with um, your thighs, bringing the hands to the thighs since it's pretty early in past or taking the outside edges of your feet if you feel ready to do so. And you just rock from side to side or stay in stillness and take a full breath in and let the breath go. Breathe in to the belly and the back. Really press the back into the mat as you breathe in and breathe out. Uh, then maybe straighten through one leg. Yeah, if you can, yeah. And then straighten through the other. Yeah, you don't have to be completely straight and just kind of go back and forth between each leg. Just noticing how the straightness feels and how the bent knee feels. Simply observing the body. And and then you can release the feet, let it go, bring the feet back down to the mat. And we're gonna drop the knees towards the left and just kind of pick up your hips and shift them towards the right a little bit. Just so the spine is in one line. And then arms can come out like a T or you can bring the left hand onto your left knee. And gaze can be over the right shoulder. Breathe in here and breathe out. Soften the face, soften the jaw, allow the two teeth to come apart, the back two teeth. Take another full breath in, filling the belly, pull the breath out. And one more final deep breath in. And deep breath out. Knees will come back through center slowly. And just shift your hips towards the left and your knees will fall towards the right. We're trying to keep the knees about in line with the belly button. If they need to go down further, that's okay. Reach the arms out through T and maybe gaze over that left arm, left shoulder. You're welcome to encourage the knees to come down towards the ground with the right hand on the thigh. And breathing in and out. Softening the face as you inhale and exhale. And taking one more full breath in, fullest breath out. Come back through center on your back. And from here, we're going to grab a block. So if your block is kind of far behind you, you can grab it or in front of you, you got it. And we're going to place the block in between our legs on the thinnest height, the most narrow height. Yeah, you got it. In between the knees and the thighs right there. So that'll keep our, our legs really close together and just walk your feet a little bit closer to your heels. Yeah. And then from here, squeeze the block. So we don't want the block to drop down. So squeeze the block, press your feet into the mat and begin to lift your hip points up towards the ceiling. Press down through the arm bones as you breathe in and breathe out. Keep squeezing the block, inhale and exhale. 
Good, engage your glutes, really squeeze them here to activate those muscles. Take another full breath in and exhale, gently release the upper, mid and low back all the way down. You can remove the block. We'll come back to it, so just set it to the side for a moment. Bring those feet as wide as the mat and just windshield wipe from one side to the other, just kind of neutralizing the low back here. And take another deep breath in, connect back to the breath. Deep breath out. And bring the knees back up towards the ceiling. Bring your heels close to your glutes, and then we'll place the blocks right between the knees on the narrowest height once again. So really engaging the thighs towards one another by squeezing the block. Begin to lift your hips up towards the sky. You can either press down through the arm bones or interlace your fingers underneath you and kind of roll your shoulder blades or your shoulders underneath you. Yeah, breathe in. Keep pressing the fist down into the ground and breathe out. Keep lifting the hips, engage the glutes, inhale, exhale. Keep in, thinking about engaging everything towards your midline of the body. Another breath in, another breath out. Final breath in, can you lift a little bit higher? Good, and then exhale. Slowly release the hands, release the upper, the mid and the low back. Release the block out to the side and take the feet as wide as the mat. Once again, just windshield wipe in one direction and then the opposite direction. Right. And we're just going to do it one more time, but we'll add a little bit of a difference to it. So it might be a little more intense depending on your body. So bring the feet back close to the glutes, knees point up towards the sky, grab your block once more, narrow is tight, place it between the knees. From here, just how we came in last time, just press through the feet, lift your hips. Yeah, you're welcome to interlace the fingers underneath you, rolling the shoulders to open the front side of the body. And this time lift the top of your foot up towards the sky, so your toes. So you're really kind of digging your heels into the mat. Yeah, yep and just begin to be here with your breath. Inhale, exhale, keep engaging your glutes. You're welcome to do tiny marches with the feet lifting one and then the other, trying to keep that block between your thighs. So it's really tiny, tiny just right? right? And take one more deep breath in. I know it's hard to breathe and do all these things at the same time and let the breath go. Release the hands, release the feet back down and roll, unwind the spine down towards the ground. Good. And then release the block towards the side. And then we're gonna hug the knees towards the chest and just make little circles on the ceiling. Clockwise and then counterclockwise. Just massaging the low back. Then from here, option to either turn to your side and press yourself up using your hands, or you can come through stillness and just rock forward and back, allowing the back to get a little massage. The body gets a little momentum. Let's take three more rocks. And then I'm all the way up. Seated pose. And then we'll come through tabletop. So find yourself in tabletop if you need a blanket underneath you, underneath the knees, take it, otherwise leave it. And then from here, just begin to find your table. So your, your wrists can be a little bit forward of your shoulders if you have any wrist pain today. And just tuck the toes here to activate the feet. We'll just go into a cat cow. So dropping the hips, opening the shoulder blades, lifting the heart as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, breath through the mat, round through the spine. Inhale to lift your heart, lift the tailbone, look up. Exhale to round through the back. 
press the shoulder blades up towards the sky. And keep going. Let's do about four more. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, round the spine. Breathing in, lifting everything. Breathing out, rounding. Maybe even closing the eyes for this last two here. Inhale. Exhale, round. And last one. Breathe in, lift the heart. Open the chest. Breathe out, round through the back, chin towards the chest. Really press those shoulder blades up. And then come back through a neutral. I'm just going to switch and turn around. Is that the front of my mat? It's the opposite one. And then from here, we're going to come to opposite arm, opposite leg, just working in the core a little bit and the back muscles. So just extend that left leg back behind you. And you can just pulse it forward and pulse it back. This is probably familiar, right? Just opening those back leg muscles. And then we're going to rock to stillness to make sure the hip is right over the knee. You can begin to lift that left leg off the mat in line with your hip. Try to find that straight spine. Try not to let the hip come up, but rather hip points are both down. You can stay here or reach the right arm forward. Breathe in, keep reaching and breathe out as you come in, knee and elbow, round in and two touch. Inhale, reach forward and back, find your balance. Exhale, round forward and down. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, round, knee and elbow. Really engage the core. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale, round. Okay. Release the hands down. Bring the knees wide. Pose touch. Release down into Balasana Child's Pose. Just let the wrist have a little break from here. You can flip the palms up towards the sky in your child's pose. Maybe make fists and open and shut them. Breathe in. Let the belly press into the thighs. And breathe out. Let the breath go. One more breath like that. Inhale. Belly reaches down into the ground. Breathe out. Let it buoy back to where it was. From here, press the hands, lift through your heart, come back through tabletop, and then we'll take it on the other side. So extend your right leg back behind you, toes are on the ground, and just pull forward and back. Just opening the foot here, calf muscle, the ankles. Breathe in and out. And then come through stillness. Hip is over your knee of the left leg. And then lift those right toes off the mat in line with your hip. You can stay here or like the other side, reach the left arm forward. But find your balance. Engage everything in towards your midline. Breathe in. Find length. Breathe out. Knee and elbow come in and they can touch. Breathe in. Reaching, elongating forward and back. Breathing out, rounding in. The three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round, breathe in, elongate forward and back, breathe out to round. Good, last one here, full breath in, get as long as you can, and full breath out, knee and elbow come into touch. Release the hand, release the knee, knees wide, toes touch, just take child's pose once more. Sink the hips towards the heels, breathe in, breathe out option to take the palms up towards the sky or maybe come onto your fingertips to activate the arms and the armpits. Take another inhale. Exhale. Add one more full breath in. Full breath. Press the palms down to the floor again and come back to tabletop. Now we're going to do something kind of funny, and I find that everyone always laughs when they do this because it's super awkward, it's, and it's actually called awkward airplane. 
So you can have the toes tucked and we're gonna reach that right leg back behind us again. Yeah, and it's kind of on a diagonal this time. Okay, and then reach the leg off the ground. Yeah, so you can keep it like that. And then press down through your right hand and lift the left arm off the side. Yeah, good. Now try to focus your gaze, focus your balance, maybe bring the right leg in line with your hip. Yeah, and you might wobble, that's okay. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, release the hand, release the knee. Super funny effort sometimes. And then you can come onto your shins or your heels and just kind of give your wrist a little love here. I want to take care of the wrist. <laughs> yeah, the balance in that one can be kind of funny. And then we'll take it on the other side. So I like to keep my index fingers pointing towards the top of the mat. It kind of gives a little bit uh, more support for the wrist. It's less intense for the wrist. This hip, FYI. Um, everyone's body is different, so it might not work for you, but you can try it out. Extend the left leg back, lift it up, kind of on a diagonal there. Yeah. Find your balance, really engage your core up and in, and then reach the right arm off to the right side. Yeah. Then maybe once you find stability, swing that left leg so it's in line with your hip horizontal to your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, keep lifting up out of that left armpit. Exhale, good, one more deep breath in. And exhale, slowly let the arm and the hand go, or the hand and the foot and come to sit. Just kind of give your wrist a nice Twirl, roll here. You can interlace the fingers and then kind of do a little, yeah, a wave, a roll in one direction. And then the opposite direction. Okay, and I promise we'll get off our hands soon. Come onto your hands, index finger pointing towards the top of the mat. And we're gonna come to plank pose. So step one foot and then the other foot back. Yeah, and just lower your hips a little bit. So they're in line, yeah with your shoulders. Keep reaching the crown of your head forward by tucking your chin slightly, press the mat away. Keep lifting the arch of your palms, the arch of your hands up. Yeah, so kind of like you're almost clawing through the mat with your fingers and breathe in here. Keep pressing your strings up and back. And as you breathe out, lower the knees down first. And then with control, the elbows are going to point back as we lower all the way down. Good. Yes. Yeah. And then untuck the toes. You can bring them as wide as your mat. And we're going to bring the fingertips off the mat here. Yeah. So we're on our fingertips. And then breathe and lift the heart up just to your capacity. Keep pressing the feet into the mat. And breathe out. Lower the heart all the way down. We'll do that again, maybe a little bit higher if it feels okay for your back. So breathe in, press the pubic bone down into the ground, lift the heart, maybe straighten the arms. And then exhale, lower with control all the way down through the heart. Bring the hands in line with your heart and then sweep the arms back behind you. So we're gonna come to something called locust pose or salabhasana. So first we're gonna take two variations. We're just gonna lift the chest and the heart first, and then we're gonna lift the legs first. So you can keep your forehead on a block if you want, if that feels safe for you, just to start, okay? And then from here, press down to your feet, just lift the arms, just lift the heart, just lift the head off the ground. Yes, keep pressing the feet and the pubic bone into the mat. Breathe in. Keep pressing the shoulder blades together and breathe out. Inhale, keep lifting the back muscles. Exhale here to stay. Just take one more deep breath in, a little bit higher, and exhale lower down. Good. 
Now this time we're going to zip the inner thighs together, zip the inner legs together. We're gonna to do both the legs and the upper body. So as you breathe in, lift the legs, point the toes back behind you, lift the heart. Yeah, breathe in and breathe out. Good, keep holding it here. Full breath in, full breath out. Maybe lift the legs a little bit higher. Full breath in, yes, and exhale, lower, breathing down towards the ground. You can remove the block if you have it underneath your forehead. And just bring one cheek to the mat and you can rock your hips kind of slightly from left to right. Yeah, just letting the low back kind of neutralize here. And then bend your knees, another way to neutralize the low back. We're just going to do kind of those windshield wipes that we did before, but just doing it with our feet going in one direction and the other. Yeah, and you can keep your chin on the mat or the forehead or one cheek, it doesn't matter. Whatever feels best in your body. Breathe in and out. Invite the breath into the belly, press it into the floor. Breathe out. And then let the feet come back down to the floor gently. Bring the hands in line with your heart. Pin the elbows in towards your ribs. And breathe in to lift your heart. Draw the pubic bone forward. And as you breathe out, tailbone or come to tabletop as your tailbone moves back. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Find down dog. Breathe in here. And breathe out. You can pedal through one foot and the other. And then just find stillness for a moment and bring your awareness to your hands. Once again, lifting up the arch of your palms of your hands. So that middle part of the palm is not pressing into the mat. You kind of curl your fingers onto the mat like claws. Breathe in and breathe out. You can pedal through the feet again. That felt good for you. And take one more full breath in like this. And exhale. Inhale to pull the body forward for plank. Roll out onto the toes. And then exhale, drop the knees. And slowly with control all the way down, bend your elbows back. Yes. Come on to the tops of the feet. Press through the hands. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. Shoulders pull down and back. And exhale. Tail through tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog. Take a breath in and down dog, and a breath out. Slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Take your time to notice each step and how it feels here on your mat. And once you find the top of the mat, you can grab the opposite elbows gently, bend your knees as much as you do, shake the head yes and shake it no. Yeah. Breathe in, maybe breathe out the mouth if that feels nourishing for you. Yeah, taking another deep breath in and exhale, let it go. From here, release the hands, keep the bend in the knees and slowly press through the feet to rise up all the way, one vertebra at a time. As you come all the way up, to Tadasana here. So notice your feet, you can bring them together to touch or keep them hip distance, whatever feels better on your hips, on your body, right? So there's variations, there's options. Really spread your toes, lift them up towards your face, really grounding down through all four corners of your feet as you lift the toes and slowly spread them one at a time from the pinky toes all the way to your big toes down to the ground. Keep engaging the quads, the muscle right above your kneecap, up towards your hip. So we want an active standing pose. Stacking the shoulders over the ribs, over the pelvis. Notice if the pelvis is dropping forward or if it's really far tucked under and try to find that nice sweet spot here. From here, we'll inhale the arms, sweep up by the ears, Urdhva Hastasana, long like a pencil and exhale to stay. Keep grounding down through the feet. Feel the energy moving up towards the crown of the head. One more deep breath in here. 
And as you exhale, sweep down Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, hands to your chin, find a halfway lift, lift the back muscles, and exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Right, from here, and step the right foot back, exhale, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, forward for your plank pose. And on the exhale, drop the knees and lower all the way down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Inhale, press through the hands, lift the heart cobra. And exhale through tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your hips downward facing dog. From here, inhale, right leg rises high into the sky, lift from your hamstring. Exhale, knee towards your nose, round through the back and step forward between your hands. Good. Come to your fingertips, extend the spine forward on the inhale, and then exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift again, pressing into the shins, lift the spine. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Press through the feet, inhale, circle, sweep the arms up high above the head, set up the prayer, and bring it down to heart center. We'll go through it a few more times. Inhale, press through the feet, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, step the left foot back, and on the exhale, step the right foot back, downward dog. Inhale, forward for plank, roll forward on toes. Exhale, release your knees, and hug the elbows in as you come all the way down. Good. Yes, come onto the top of the feet. Inhale, lift your heart, cobra pose. And exhale through tabletop. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts up into the sky. And exhale, knee comes towards the nose, round forward and step forward. Good. Come onto your fingertips, extend through a straight spine. And exhale, step forward, forward, fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up high this time. And exhale, let's float right back down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lift through the back muscles. Yeah, straight spine. Exhale, hold hands to the mat. Inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Breathe in to come forward for a plank pose. And as you breathe out, lower the knees and lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, lift your heart. And exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog. And from here, inhale, right leg rises high into the sky. And exhale it forward between your hands. Come to your fingertips. Breathe in, long spine forward. Breathe out to step forward. Forward fold. Press through the feet, inhale, sweep the arms up high into the sky. Last one here, exhale, fold forward and down. Breathe in, halfway lift, lift the heart. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to your plank pose. And exhale, knees down and with control, lower all the way down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Press through the hands. Inhale, lift the heart cobra. Exhale through table, downward facing dog. From here, inhale, left leg rises high into the sky. And exhale it forward between your hands. Come onto your fingertips. Extend your spine forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step forward with the right foot. Inhale to press through the feet. Rise up all the way. And exhale, hands through prayer at heart center. And just take a deep breath in here, ground down through the feet, and breathe out. Inhale through the nose. Maybe sealing the lips, exhale out the nose. Okay. Taking one more deep breath in like this. Deep breath out. Release the arms by your side. We'll get into our standing poses, our flow in a, in a moment, but we're going to practice a little balance. 
we're going to practice free pose today. So one of my teachers recently said something really funny. She called, there's different um, variations of free pose. And so she calls those variations, the shrub, the bush, the tree, and the oak tree. So we'll go through one and see which one works for you in this moment. So let's shift our way into the right foot. Your hands can be on your hips. And then kind of kickstand, come onto the ball of your left foot, kickstand it here out to the side, and then bring it onto the inside of your ankle. Now notice if your, your right is popping out and kind of press it up and in. Yeah, so we want it in towards the midline. This is the shrub, yeah? And then right here, you can bring it onto your calf muscle. Focus the gaze on something that's not moving. Yeah, this is the bush. Press down through that right foot. Maybe bring the left foot all the way up. You can grab hold of the ankle and press it into the inner thigh. This is the tree. Yeah, your hands can come to your hips once you feel stable. There at one point that's not moving, not the screen, and breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, if you come out of it, that's okay. You can always come back in. Stay right here, find the balance, breathe in. And maybe bring the hands to your heart. Option, once you're stable, arms can rise up towards the sky for the oak tree and breathe in and breathe out. Uh, one more breath in. Breath out, slowly release. Yeah, release with control down towards the ground. And let it go, you can out that right foot, left foot, maybe make some rolls with the ankle, ankle circles. And then we'll take it on the other side. So let go of any expectations, let go of anything we just did. Start with fresh eyes, beginner's mind, and press the foot, the left foot into the mat. And then we'll start with the shrub, kick stand to the ankle, yeah. And then maybe bring it up towards your calf for the bush. Good, focus the gaze. Now lift like an elevator, bring the leg up towards your inner thigh, grabbing the ankle gently and just making sure it's not on your knee. So pressing into the muscle of your thigh. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, yeah. Breathe out wherever you are. Keep pressing the thigh into the foot, foot into your thigh. Yeah. And you can bring the hands to your heart when you feel steady. Keep breathing here, inviting them in. Maybe grow the branches up like a big oak tree. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. One more deep breath in and exhale. Slowly release the hands down. You can bring the knee back through center and release it down and let go of that. Maybe making some energy come out feet and the ankles. Yeah. And then we'll be done with three posts for now. Come back to the top of your mat and we'll get started with some standing poses. So bring the feet to touch, inner feet to touch, or they can bring the hips of distance, whatever feels better for you to start in your mountain pose. Then from here, inhale the arms, sweep up by the ears. Exhale to shift your hips back and find chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit low. Yeah, draw the low belly up and the low back down. Yeah, to take the arch out of the low back. Breathe in, keep opening through the heart. Breathe out. Look over your knees to see your toes, maybe even lift them up towards your face. Breathe in, breathe out. Take one more full breath in and share. And as you exhale, straighten through the legs and begin to fold forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, really lift the back into a straight line. And exhale, hands to the mat. Just step the right foot back, left foot back, downward face dog. From here, inhale, right leg will rise into the sky. Take your time lifting it with control. And exhale, knee towards the nose, really round through the back. Just step forward between your thumbs. Yeah. 
Good. Press down through that foot. Make sure the knee is stacked over the ankle. Inhale, arms sweep forward and up to find high lunge. And exhale here to stay. Hook your thumb yeah, above your head. And keep lifting, lifting, lifting up and out of the ribs. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the bend in the front knee while your hamstring of the back leg moves back behind you. Take one more deep breath in. And on the exhale, spin the left foot down and open up. Find warrior two. Yeah, just look down, find your heel to arch alignment. Arms reach forward and back, gaze over your right fingertips. And just notice if your hips are pouring forward and draw the belly up. Yeah, as the low back draws down. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep pressing through the outer edge of that back foot. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Flip your front palm, reach forward, and inhale to lift it up and back. Yeah, slightly bring the left fingertips onto your leg. Full breath in, full breath out. Good. One more deep breath in, keep the bend in the front knee. Deep breath out, yeah. Good, just last breath in. And on the exhale, come forward, bring the right forearm on top of your right thigh and lift that right, the left arm up towards the sky or over your ear. Breath in, keep reaching, full breath out. Press down into your thigh to lift up out of the thigh. Yeah, good, breathe in and breathe out. Strong legs here, one more inhale. And exhale, press to the feet, inhale one more time, reverse it up and back. And on the exhale, windmill your hands down on either side of the foot, square your hips down towards the ground and step back for downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward onto the toes, plank pose. Exhale to release the knees and all the weight. Come onto the tops of the feet, inhale, cobra lift the heart high. And exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog. Then pedal through one foot and the other. Breathe in and breathe out. Take another full breath in. Belly releases towards the ground. Full breath out. Taking it on the opposite side, press down through the hands. Inhale, leg rises high into the sky. And exhale. Inhale, knee to nose, round through your back and step forward between the hands. Stack the knee over the ankle. Press down through your feet. Inhale, high lunge, arms come forward and up. Exhale to stay. The thumbs again, clasp the thumbs together and almost like you're going to pull your hands apart, really active through the arms. Keep the bend in that front knee, making sure it doesn't go past your ankle. Breathe in. Breathe out, keep lifting up out of the pelvis. One more deep breath in and exhale. Good. Let's just take one deep breath in to lift the body a little higher. And on the exhale, spin the right foot down, the right heel down onto the ground, open up warrior two. Reach forward and back, heel to arch alignment. Gaze is over the left fingertips. Breathe in, look forward. Breathe out to step. Keep reaching from the heart through your fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Good. One more full in in this warrior two. Notice if you're forward or back and find yourself right in the center. And to exhale, let it go. Flip the front palm, sit, sit forward, forward, forward. Inhale, reach up and back. Light on your right fingertips. Reach, reach, reach up out of your body. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the bend in the front knee. Inhale and exhale. Take one more full breath in. And on the exhale, come forward. Bring the left forearm on top of your thigh. Right arm can go up towards the sky or over your ear. Breathe in and breathe out. Take another inhale. Keep turning the left chest up towards the sky. Exhale to stay. 
One more deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, press through the feet, reach up once again. And on the exhale, windmill the hands down on either side of your foot. Square your hips, come on to the ball of the back foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Option to flow, option to take child's pose or stay in down dog. Move with your breath. If you're taking the flow, inhale forward for plank. Exhale, knees all the way down. Inhale, lift your heart, cobra. And exhale through tabletop to downward facing dog. From here, breathe in and breathe out. Begin to slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Take your time to get there. And then breathe in and breathe out. You can bend through the knees. Inhale, slowly rise up. One vertebrae at a time. Take your time and come to Tadasana. We'll go through it one more time. One breath per movement, and we'll add on a little bit towards the end. And this will be the last flow for each round. So feet are either hips with distance or all the way together. Press down through the feet. Inhale, arms sweep up. Up, sit low here for chair pose, Uttasana. Breathe in, keep lifting the heart, and exhale, straighten through the legs, fold forward. Inhale for halfway lift, hands to your chin, straight spine. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the right foot back, left foot back, downward facing dog. Option here to flow or just stay in down dog for three breaths. If you're flowing, breathe in forward for plank. Breathe out, lower the knees down, all the way down with control. Inhale, press through the hands to your heart, cobra. And exhale through tabletop. Downward facing dog. From here, inhale the right leg rises high into the sky and exhale it forward between the thumbs. Press down through the feet. Inhale, arms sweep forward and up, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two, spin the back foot down. Good. Inhale, flip the front palm, shift it forward, up and back, reverse warrior. And exhale, come forward on top of the thigh. Extended side angle. Good. Inhale, reverse it up and back once more. And from here, exhale, swim the hands down on either side of your foot. Come onto the ball of the back foot. Press down through that left hand. Inhale, right arm rises high into the sky for low lunge twist. And exhale here to stay for a moment. Keep pressing your left leg up towards the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out, stacking your shoulders over one another. So bring your top arm forward just a little bit more, like so it's in line with your other shoulder. Yes, take another deep breath in and exhale, swim the right hand down. And we're gonna turn and open towards the long side edge of your mat. Yes, your hands can be right underneath your shoulders. Find a long spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you can fold and bring the hands to the mat or blocks if you have them or stay on fingertips. And just be here for a minute for three breaths. Option to take your big toes with your peace sign fingers, your index and middle fingers and breathe in and breathe out. Keep lifting up from the arches of your feet, the groin, another deep breath in. Exhale. Last final breath in. Let the head hang heavy. Final breath out. Walk the hands right out underneath the shoulders. Breathe in to press through your feet. And as you breathe out, quickly bring the hands to your hips. Yeah, good. Then from here, stand all the way up using a straight spine. Yes. Turn your heels in and your toes out. From here, inhale, find a long spine and exhale to bend through your knees, find goddess pose to sit straight down. All right, let's bring our hands on top of the thighs, close to the knees. And then from here, we're just going to shift your left elbow down and forward. Yeah, breathe in to come up, breathe out to switch your shoulders down and forward. Just once more on each side, inhale up, 
exhale, left shoulder dip. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, right shoulder dip. Good. And then breathe in to come back all the way up. Straighten through the legs, arms can sweep up like a star. And then bring your back toes in so they're parallel with the back edge of the mat and your toes forward, your left, right toes forward, excuse me. Then bend through the knee, arms come out to a T, warrior two. Inhale, flip it, reverse it again. Exhale, swim the hands down once more. Square the hips, step back, downward facing dog. Option to flow here as you inhale forward for plank. Exhale, lower the knees and lower all the way down. Inhale, lift your heart, cobra. And exhale through tabletop. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Last side here after two breaths. Take a deep breath in down dog. And deep breath out, either the nose or the mouth. One more breath in. And breath out. From here, press down through your hands. Inhale, left leg rises high into the sky. Exhale it forward between the thumbs. Inhale, high lunge, arms lift forward and up. Exhale, spin the back heel down, open up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, move it forward, up and back, reverse warrior. And exhale, come forward on top of the thigh, extended side angle. Yes, press down through the feet. Inhale, reach up and back once more. And exhale, sweep the hands down on either side of your foot. Square your hips down towards the floor. Come onto the ball, the back foot, perfect. Press down through your right hand. Inhale, left arm rises high into the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep lifting your back hamstring, the right hamstring up, yes. Full breath in, full breath out. Nice stacked shoulders. One more breath in. Gaze can look up towards the sky. And on the exhale, sweep the left arm up and over the ear, open up towards the long side edge of your mat. Find wide-legged forward fold. Press through the feet, inhale, find your flat back and exhale to fold to your capacity. Press down through the feet, option to take the hands behind the low back, interlace your fingers, and then begin to press the fists forward, opening through the shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another inhale. Press through the feet, exhale. Final breath in and exhale, let it go. Release the hands down to the ground. Breathe in, find a long spine. And as you breathe out, bring the hands to your hips. Inhale with a straight back, come all the way up. And I'm just gonna turn to face you again. Good, bring your heels in, toes out. Yeah, and begin to bend through your knees Find your goddess pose. From here, take your hands to your thighs and dip one shoulder down. Good, inhale, come back up. Exhale, opposite shoulder down. Just once more on each side. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Good. Breathe in, just straighten through the legs, arms sweep up. And this time we're going to take the opposite leg um, so bring your toes towards the back of your mat this time. Yeah. And then draw the heel of the other foot in so it's parallel with the front of your mat. Yeah. Bend through the knee, arms sweep forward and back, warrior two. You got it. Flip the front palm, reach it up and back, find peaceful warrior. And exhale, sweep the hands down on either side of your foot. Square your hips. Step back, downward facing dog. Option to drop to child pose, stay in down dog, or inhale forward for your plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, and with control, lower all the way down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Breathe in, open the heart, shoulder blades together. And exhale through tabletop, center facing dog. Take a breath in here. And breathe out. And from here, we'll all release into child's toes, release the knees wide, big toes can touch, and bring the forearm or the forehead down towards the ground and begin to soften here into Balasana, child's 
pose. Find your breath, full breath in. Feel the belly press into the thighs, down towards the ground, and full breath out. We'll inhale for one, two, three, hold it in, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, hold it, and Exhale for four, three, two, one. This last one like this. Breathe in, one, two, three, hold it. Exhale, four, three, two, one. From here, press through the hands to lift through your heart. You can walk the hands back towards your body and just sit onto one side, one hip, and bring the legs forward. And then from here, bend through your right knee, and you can bring it onto the outside of the left leg. Yeah. And then bring your right hand behind you, reach up through the left arm, take a full breath in, and as you breathe out, you can bring the elbow onto the outside of that right knee or right thigh. Yeah, find a twist. Keep active through that left foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep those left toes coming back towards you. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale to stay or turn to the twist a little bit more. Another deep breath in. And exhale. Slowly come back through center. Maybe take a counter twist, take the hands down and bow down. Notice how that feels in the back and then extend your right leg forward and we'll go to the opposite side. So bend through the left knee, bring it onto the outside of your right knee. Bring the left hand behind you, inhale, right arm lifts up into the sky, active right foot and exhale, turn and twist. Hook that elbow, good. Breathe in, find that long spine. Breathe out to stay, or maybe turn into the twist a little bit more, opening that left shoulder. Full breath in, full breath out. Take one more final breath in, and exhale. Slowly unwind, come back to center. Maybe take this counter dip towards the opposite side. And then come all the way up and bring the heels close to your bum, your glutes. And we'll take a little bit of core engagement as we come down onto the back. So keep the knees together, palms up, keep lifting through the heart. And as slowly as you can go, we're gonna roll all the way down. Keep lifting through the heart as you roll, roll, roll. Down all the way, maybe you go fast at one point. That's okay. Not spreading judgment on ourselves and our practice. Honoring ourselves and the movements that we make in our bodies in our practice. And then from here, just bring the knees in towards your chest. You can make little circles in one way, maybe clockwise and counterclockwise or the opposite, whatever is calling to you. And then from here, up and to grab your block. Let's see, and we're going to bring it right underneath the sacrum, right underneath the low back. So kind of find that sweet spot of the low back. So it's not really pinching anywhere, just the flat part, the flat bone of the sacrum. And rest it onto the block here on the lowest height. You can put it on the second highest height if that's. Um, what you want to do if you want a little more of a back bend. But if you want it super restorative, it can go on the lowest height. And just hang out here, quite the opposite from the beginning of class with the bridge pose, super active. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Soften the gaze or heavy the eyelids. Inhale. Exhale. Hands can be on your belly or off to the side of the body on the mat. As you breathe in and as you breathe out. Just allowing any energy in the body to flow from the pelvis down, in this case, down into the crown of the head as we're kind of slope here. Allowing that energy to rise back up into the body. Take about three more breaths here. After your three breaths, take your time. You're welcome to stay here longer. Otherwise, you can press through the feet, remove the block as you lift the hips up. And then settle the low back back down onto the mat. And then we'll just set up for Savasana. You can lengthen the legs out long. If you want a pillow under the head or a rolled up blanket under the knee, you can take that. Otherwise, just take up as much space as you need here. You're also welcome to sit if that feels better to close your practice. Otherwise, just staying here. Arms can be out to the side, palm up towards the ceiling. Notice the parts of the body that are touching the ground. Allow them to sink further into the mat. Have your eyelids or close them all the way. Notice the natural rate of your breathing. Letting go of any controlled breath. Perhaps becoming aware of the temperature of your inhales through the nostrils, maybe a cooler air. And the warmer air as it exits the nostrils on the exhale. Just soften into your savasana for the next two minutes. Releasing the jaw, allowing the back two teeth to release from one another. Part your lips slightly. Unfurrow the brow. Letting go of any effort.
We're welcome to stay here for as long as we need. Otherwise, you can deepen the breath. Invite this deeper current of breath through the body. Maybe letting the exhales out the mouth. And with both fingers, toes, come all the way up. Take your time. Find a seated position. You can bring one hand on top of the heart and then the other hand on top of that. Maybe feeling the heartbeat. And take a deep breath into the low belly, mid belly, upper chest, and heart. Exhale through the heart, mid belly, low belly. And we'll just breathe in, just feel our practice as OM. OM. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. The light inside of me honors the light inside of you. Thanks so much for this practice.